All right, guys. So today we have uh, dumbbells, a hip band, and a broom or any stick that you have in your house. Uh, any stick would do. All right. So let's start. I'm going to show the versions for beginners before we do any exercise and uh, feel free to switch be between the beginners and advanced version anytime you like. And as you remember, every exercise we do for one minute. So in one minute, it's going to be over. <laughs> okay. If you feel like you cannot do it anymore, just stop. In one minute, we're going to switch to something else, a different muscle group. Uh, so you're not going to miss anything. Just get some rest, get some water, and then continue with us uh, with another exercise. Okay. All right, so we're gonna start with a warm up. And for the first warm up exercise, we're gonna do a scissor jump combined with a hip circle. So it looks like this. I'm gonna jump several times, then uh, legs apart, and I'm gonna do this hip circle to warm up my hips, okay? And then a couple of more scissor jumps and the circle another direction. So if jumping is too much for you, then you can do steps back, lunges back, all right, hip circle. Then again, step back without jumping and hip circle the other direction, okay? And we're gonna do that for a minute. So you can switch between jumping and just stepping back, whatever you feel like. In a minute, we're gonna be done, okay? And we're gonna start in three, two, and go. Right, use your own pace. Yeah, you can do it faster, you can do it slower. Make sure you switch the direction of your circle. All right, 30 seconds left. Fifteen seconds left. And we're done. Awesome. So the next one is in our tabletop position. So tabletop position is you're on, on your all fours, okay? But you're gonna lift your knees. So there is like a couple of inches between your knees and the floor. This is an advanced version of all fours. You can stay on all fours. It's up to you. So um, the basic version is you're on a tabletop and you do shoulder taps. Okay, tap the shoulder like this. Okay, so I'm gonna stay diagonal, all right? If this is too hard, you cannot hold yourself on the tabletop. You are on all fours, okay? And for each uh, shoulder tap, you're gonna add a knee tap, okay? Tap, tap, knee tap, knee tap. Shoulder, knee, okay? If you cannot hold yourself in a tabletop position, you're gonna put your uh, knees on the floor, and do it in this position. Now, for those who are coming to this class for a long time, okay, shoulder tap, shoulder tap, both, okay, plyometrics, okay? Yes, awesome, so this is advanced version. So I'm gonna start with the basic one. We'll do it for like 10 seconds, do it with me. Then I'm gonna switch to intermediate and then to advanced, and you're gonna stay on the level that you're comfortable with. And we're gonna start in three, two, and go. So I'm on all fours right now. Okay. All right, I'm switching to tabletop, level two. You can stay on all fours if that's your level, okay? And I'm gonna switch to the advanced version right now.
Use your legs. Use your arms. Push yourself for a, from the floor. Ten seconds left. Done. Awesome. Woo! All right, all right, all right. Good. All right. So the next one is a lunge variation, and. Uh, let me see. All right. It's going to look like this. We're going to do a reverse lunge. And then kick. Okay. Switch. Reverse lunge. Kick. Then switch. Next leg. Next one, reverse lunge. Kick. And next one, reverse lunge. Kick. When you do lunge, Feet a bit wider than shoulders, right? Because if they are the same level, the same line, then you are off your balance. Okay, feet wide, okay? Lunge back. You can remove the kick, all right? And just do lunges as well, okay? Just lunges. A uh, more advanced version is you switch between your lunges with a jump, okay? So, lunge, jump, kick, switch, kick, switch, kick, switch. And again, I'm gonna start with a very basic version, just lunges. Stay there with me, then add the kick, then you can add the jump if you want, okay? And three, two, and go. Basic version, just lunges. Okay, try not to rotate everywhere, yes. Hold yourself up, awesome. I'm gonna add the kick. All right, try to add one, see what happens. If you can handle this. If not, stay on your lunges. Okay. And I'm going to add a switch with a jump. Ten seconds left. We're almost there. Time, Woo. awesome, okay. And the last one is again a variation of a tabletop with a uh, plank and a reach. It looks like this. You are on your all fours, you can stay there, okay. You are stretching all the way back and then forward and reach with your arm. Then back, reach with your arm. Back, reach with your arm. And of course, advanced version would be in your tabletop position. Stretch all the way in the push up plank. Reach with your arm. Stretch all the way, reach with your arm. Okay? Stretch all the way, reach with your arm. Okay, so we're gonna start on all fours with a basic version, and then I'm gonna switch to the advanced and you can stay at the level you're comfortable with. And we're going to start in three, two, and go. Stretch, reach forward. Stretch, reach forward. All the way back, reach forward. Okay, keep doing that if this is already fun. <laughs> All right, if this is not fun, then we're in a tabletop position. No rush, keep your own pace, okay? No uh, rush, do it as fast. As you can. And 
one time. Woo. Sip of water and we're going to repeat this set again. Starting from scissor jump and a hip circle. Then tabletop variation, then a lunge with a variation if you want and another tabletop variation. So remember the first exercise looked like this. Scissor jump, okay, legs apart, hip circle. And again, scissor jump, circle the other direction. All right, if jump is not your thing today, legs back. Wide, couple of circles, one direction. Then again, step back. Wide stance, hip circle the other direction, okay? So that's gonna be your option if you're a beginner. Three, two, and go. I'm gonna start with the beginner version. So you can do it with me, okay? And the circle, circle, awesome. Then one more time. And again, circle, circle. No, <laughs> it's awesome. Let's do it again. And circle, circle. Nice wide circle. Awesome. And again. And circle. All right, stay there. I'm going to do it last version. Okay, you can always switch back to the basic one. All right, that was a minute. Awesome. All right, we are in our tabletop position. Remember, shoulder taps on all fours. Tap, tap, tap the knee, tap the knee, okay? If your uh, shoulder girdle is not strong enough, this is as much as I want you to do today, okay? If your core is stronger, tabletop, tap, tap, knee, knee. If you have been doing it with us for a long time, tap, tap, right? In order to reach both knees, you are going to use your legs up and then arms. See, I can even stand up if I want because I pushed myself with the legs, not only arms, all right? It's the whole core and your legs that are pushing you up, okay? Try to find this. When you do it, try to feel it. If not, you can always go back to the basic tabletop. All right. And all four, three, two, and go. Tap, tap, knee, knee. Shoulder, shoulder, knee, knee. I'm switching to intermediate level with my knees above the floor, but feel free to do it on your all fours. We have 30 seconds left. You can keep doing this option. And I'm going to do advanced version. Okay. All right, advanced version is going to include a double tap. Nice, that was a minute, awesome. Very good, all right. Here comes our reverse lunge variation. Basic option, reverse lunge, okay? Make sure you're stable, not leaning forward, okay? Step back, try to maintain your vertical position. Then I'm gonna add a kick and hopefully a jump. Three, two, and go, reverse. Lunge, I'm doing the basic version. All right. 
you can stay there or add a kick. You can do it without a kick if you want. All right, and you can stay there or switch to jump version with me. Ten seconds left. Awesome. And the last one is a tabletop variation. Yeah. Either on all fours, stretch back, stretch forward, lean, and reach with your arm. Or the same thing in a tabletop position, and you need up. I'm going to start with the basic one and three, two, and go. All the way back, reach. All the way back, reach. You don't have to rush. Do it with your own pace. Okay, I'm gonna switch to the more advanced version with my knees above the floor. Okay, and then I go forward. I'm going to the full push up position. Yeah. But feel free to stay on your knees without lifting them from the floor. <sighs> and time. Whew. Nice sip of water. Get ready to the next set. All right, you're gonna need your dumbbells. If you don't have dumbbells, grab something like a bottle of water in each hand, very lightweight. It's not important if it's heavy, okay? It's important that you have something in your hands so you know <laughs> uh, what movement you have to think about, okay? All right. Whew. All right, so we're gonna do squats uh, combined with the overhead press. So we're gonna place our weights on our shoulders and do the frontal squat, feet parallel, shoulder width apart. Squat all the way up, push the weights up. Yes, down, up. Okay, when you go down, you're trying to see that all the way back. Whew. And all the way back. All right, try not to lean forward, but rather sit down. All right, squat as if you are going to sit on a chair. Okay, and three, two, and go. All right, it can be as deep as possible. All right, I'm going pretty deep, but if your level is here, totally fine. Don't forget to breathe. Twenty seconds left. Five seconds left and we're done. Okay, done. All right. 
uh, get rid of your dumbbells. The next one is the reverse plank variation. You are uh, in your, uh, hold on a second. Okay, arms and legs. Beginner version, you just stay like this, okay? For a minute, you're not putting your <laughs> hips on the floor, okay? Stay like this. You can do it for a second, get some rest. And again, your core is in tension, your arms are in tension, you are just holding yourself in this position. All right, advanced version, you are straightening your legs, okay? And three, two, and time starts now. All right, you don't have to move your legs. Anytime you can stop doing that and just stay in this rever reverse plank position, reverse plank position. Yeah, hold yourself on your arms. Your tricep is working hard. Your core is working hard. Your cat is working hard. <laughs> All right, for the next round, uh, you can grab a band and put it around your hips, okay? And time, that was a minute. All right, my computer wants to restart. No, 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 no. Okay, so next one. Grab your band if you have it and your mat. I'm gonna do uh, hip raises. Okay, so the hip band looks like this. Yeah, this is your just uh, circle of rubber, but you don't really need it. Okay, this is uh, to make this exercise harder and the basic version would be without it, okay? So you are going to be on your butt. Okay. And we're gonna do a bridge. You're gonna place your back on the floor, okay? Arms are by your body, all right? And you're gonna lift your hips up, okay? Contract the glutes, hold the diagonal in here, and then go down. And do the same thing again and again for a minute. And if you have a rubber band, you're gonna stretch it. When you're up, you're going to stretch it. Okay, check me out. I'm going up, I'm stretching it, then I'm going down, okay? And we are going to start in three, two, and go. Exhale and you go up. If you don't have a band, then you just raise your hips and then put them down, okay? That's all you're gonna do. Nice, nice, nice. Very good. And time! That was it. Awesome. Great. Okay. So, uh, the last one in this set is a push up combination with the knee to the chest. Okay, basic version. You're doing push ups from your knees, actually, this way. You are on your knees, okay, on all fours. And you do the push ups like this down and up, that's all you need to do, okay? Uh, if you can do more, 
Okay, if your chest and arms are stronger, you're stepping with your uh, hands a bit forward so your body is diagonal. That's your level, okay? If you have been doing it for a while, you're gonna do this. Push up, knee to the chest, knee to the chest. A push up, knee to the chest, knee to the chest. All right, I'm going to start with a very basic version and then switch to intermediate and then switch to advanced. And feel free to start with advanced if you have been doing it for a while, okay? And three, two, and go. Okay, I'm just on all fours and I'm doing push-ups from the floor. From my all fours, that's all I'm doing, okay? Okay, nice. Okay, do not rush. You can do it slow, as slow as you need. Okay, my advanced, more advanced version, okay? I'm more diagonal, not on all fours. Try that and see if uh, you can do that, but this is harder, okay? And I'm moving to the advanced version. Stay on your all fours if that's something you can do till the end of a minute. And we have 20 seconds left. And time. Woo! Oh. All right, you can keep the band on. If you have been doing it for a while, advanced level, band is on. We're gonna do everything again. Squat, press, right? When you go down, you can stretch your band. And then we can do the uh, reverse plank variation with the band as well. If you don't have a band, you don't need it. All right, we're gonna grab dumbbells. Feel free to do it without the dumbbells, okay? Squat, up, squat, up, okay? And we're gonna start in three, two, and go. That's gonna be a minute. Go all the way back, yes, with your hips. The hips should move all the way back, right? Not, try not to fall forward, right? This is not, ooh, that was hard. Yeah, this is not leaning forward. This is squatting. See how I don't lean? My body is naturally angled, but uh, I'm not working in my back, right? I'm doing all the work with my hips, my glutes. And remember, you can stop any time and wait until it's over. We have 20 seconds left. And done. Woo. Nice, okay. Next one is our reverse plank variation. Remember, you can just stay like this for a minute. This is already a lot of work, okay? This is already a lot of work, stay like that. Or lift your legs in three, two, and go. If you have a band, the band should be always stretched, all right? It's never soft, it's never flaccid. You always keep it tight. Stretch it when you move your leg up. Thirty seconds left. Hi. 
time. Awesome. Okay, let's do uh, the hip raise. Yeah, we're gonna do do it on the mat as well. All right, your back is on the mat, arms by your side. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna raise hips. All right, and then back. And don't forget to stretch your band if you have it on. And three, two, and go. Up. Nice. Okay. And the last one in this set is our push up. Okay. Either from all fours or from diagonal all fours or a push up and the knee to the chest. Okay. I'm going to start with a basic position with you together in three, two, and go. Okay. You're just on. You're all fours, and that's all you're doing. Push up like this, okay? And feel free to go into diagonal position. See if you can do that. If not, go back to your all fours. All right, and the advanced version, push up. Knee to the chest, knee to the chest. Done, that was a minute. Awesome, super cool. All right, sip of water, half a minute break, maybe a minute. Oh, we actually still have a band on. You can keep it on, we're gonna use it right now. Grab some water, breathe. Okay, so the next exercise is a variation of a reverse lunge. Okay, so it's gonna look like this. You're going back and remember, for the lunge, your feet are wider, a little bit wider than the shoulders. So when you go back, right, they're still wide for your balance. If you go back like this, then you cannot do anything, right? If you go back like this, then you can do it, okay? So, uh, we're gonna do a reverse lunge. And then from the reverse lunge, move your balance to the front leg and try to lift the back leg. And then feet together, okay? And then reverse lunge again. And then move your balance to the front leg, lift the back leg. And then feet together, not actually together. They are in the starting position, okay? So if you don't have a band, even better. <laughs> okay, so three, two, let's go. 
reverse lunge. And then you can use your arms, move them to the sides to keep the balance. All right, reverse lunge. And then leg up. Okay. If you move your arms to the sides, then it should be easier to keep the balance. All right, let's do the last one. Okay, nice. Woo, awesome. Okay. Now, uh, we're gonna grab one dumbbell, if you want, but we can do it without a dumbbell as well. The exercise is gonna look like this. You're gonna need your mat as well. Okay, so, um, uh, for the basic version, okay, you're gonna stay on your mat. Oops, I did it again. <laughs> All right, you're gonna stay on your mat for a basic version with your dumbbell, okay? You're gonna hold the dumbbell like this and straighten the legs, Put them back. Straighten and the back. Okay? This is a basic version. For the advanced version, you're gonna roll up and stand up. Okay? And then go back to your back. Straight position. You're not putting it on the floor. To the chest and all the way up. And then down on your back, knees to the chest, straight, back to the chest, up, okay? For more advanced version, you can always press the dumbbell up at the final point, point. and then go back to the uh, floor. I don't think we can benefit from the band here, so I'm gonna take it off. All right, the basic version, you're always on the floor. You're holding your dumbbell up, knees to the chest, then straight, then to the chest, then straight, that's all. All right, ready? And three, two, and go. Okay, to the chest. This is what you're doing without getting up. If you're basic, okay, you're getting up, and you can press it up if you want to. If you're advanced, okay, dumbbell up, straight legs, knees to the chest, and roll yourself all the way up. Whew. All right, on the back, straight legs to the chest. Whew. All right, this is what you do just on the floor. You're not rolling up if this is your first time. Okay, five more seconds. Done, Whew. okay, awesome. All right, next one is a one dumbbell, uh, tabletop variation. 
okay? And again, uh, basic version, you are on all fours. You grab your dumbbell, you do the row up, extend your uh, tricep, flex, put the uh, dumbbell back, grab it with another arm, row, elbow up, extend, bend the elbow, put it down, okay? Switch arms up, extend, and down. Advanced version, everything in the tabletop position, right? Your knees are not touching the floor. Okay, I'm gonna start with you on your knees, but feel free to start in the tabletop if you are ready for that. And three, two, and go. Right, I'm switching to tabletop. But feel free to stay on your knees throughout this minute. And I'm gonna tell you soon that this is almost a half. It is almost a half. Thirty seconds left. Okay, good, that was awesome. And now it's time for the broom or a stick. Okay, we don't need a dumbbell anymore. I'm gonna put it to the side and I'm going to be on my belly for the Superman. And the Superman looks like this. If you don't have a broom, you're totally fine. You can do it without it. If you have a broom, you're going to hold it with your both arms. Okay. I'm going to lift arms and legs. Advanced version together for a minute. Easy version. Arms, then legs. Arms, then legs. Not together. Okay. One, then another. So we're gonna start and if you don't have a broom, just do it like this, okay? It's just the broom is gonna force your back um, working harder. Three, two, and go. Okay, do both at the same time for advanced version or either arms or legs for the beginner's version. Thirty seconds left. Time, Whew, awesome, okay. Uh, and let's do all of this again. Reverse lunge with a leg lift. I'm gonna put my band back on, but feel free to do it without the band. Uh, if the band throws you off the balance right now, then you don't need it, okay. I'm gonna start in three, two, and go reverse lunge, and then oh, leg lift. Ah. 
the biggest challenge is to move your weight on your front leg and then do this lift okay so you're parallel to the floor lots of muscles are working when you're trying to maintain this balance it's not only the glutes that are lifting your leg but also yeah your core your back everything is included in this move trying to keep you in your stable uh, balanced position five seconds left oh nice all right we're good that was a minute take your band off and we have our roll and the reminder i'm going to start with the floor position all right on the floor you're holding your dumbbell in front of you all right knees to the chest then back straight try not to put them on the floor this is your basic version okay advanced version we are rolling ourselves up and three two and go and i'm gonna add the press time Whew, that was a minute and that was it right we're gonna keep our dumbbell and do the row elbow up extension bend down if you don't have a dumbbell or you're tired with the dumbbell just do it without it you're on your own four row extension bend back row extension bend back okay or with a dumbbell or tabletop okay i'm starting with my basic position in three two one i'm on all fours doing that Okay, 30 seconds left. I am switching to the advanced version when you are in the tabletop, but feel free to stay on your old fours. It's a lot of work for your back and for your tricep. Five seconds left. Woo, almost. And done. Oh, that was hard. Okay, okay, okay. Superman. Okay. Uh, with or without the broom. You are on your belly and we are lifting uh, our arms up or the arms with the broom okay you're on your belly remember basic version arms up down legs up down advanced version both of them at the same time and three two and go
30 seconds left. Ten seconds left. And done. <laughs> okay, couple of abs exercises left and we're done. All right, flip to your backs, everything is on the mat. Exercise number one, basic version without the broom. You are on your back, you're doing bicycles. Bicycles. Elbow to the knee, all right, elbow to the knee for a minute. Advanced version with a broom. We're doing a canoe, okay? Like this, all right? You are rowing on your canoe and at the same time you are uh, in your kind of V position, all right? Basic version, bicycles, advanced version, canoe with your broom as an oar. And three, two, and go. So do the bicycles, all right, on the floor. If this is not something your back is comfortable with, okay? If you have been doing it for a while, we are going to use the broom, okay? 30 seconds left. Fifteen seconds left. Go, go, go. You can be on your bicycle or in your, or maybe it's a kayak, maybe it's a kayak. <laughs> One or another. And time. Okay. Next one for your abs. Basic version. Lemon squeeze. You are on your elbows. Your legs are moving up. Your knees to the chest. Forward straight legs, knees to the chest. All right, lemon squeeze is for a minute. Advanced version. Uh, you're gonna place your broom in front of you. Okay, hold the very end. Okay, knees to the chest, one side. Switch arms, legs go to another side. Knees to the chest, one side. Knees to the chest, Another side, all right? So your legs are, I don't know if this is better, right? Your legs are going to the opposite sides of your broom, okay? And you again are in the V position all the time. Basic version, you are on your elbows, straightening the legs and moving them to the chest. All right, three, two, Go. Thirty seconds left. Five, four, three, two. Done. <laughs> Woo! All right. Okay. Let me see if I have something else. I think we are done. It's almost an hour. So let's do the stretch. Okay, flip on your belly. 
on your elbows, okay? And kind of move yourself forward on your elbows, right? It's not a cobra, right? I'm not bending. I'm doing this move, okay, this move. I'm trying to move yourself forward on the elbows so I can feel the stretch in my abs. Very nice stretch in my abs. Oh. Okay, awesome. All right. Then the left knee, knees together and try to move your uh, heel to the glute and feel the stretch in your left quad. All right, now move it a bit to this side, like to the outside of your glute and feel that diagonal stretch in your quad. All right, let's switch legs. The right knee goes to your glute. Feel the stretch in your quads. Now move your uh, heel to the very side, like feel this diagonal stretch. All right, nice. Okay, let's move all the way back into the child's pose and feel the stretch in the back and in your hips, hopefully, in the glutes. Okay, all right, uh, on your all fours, okay, let's with under the arm with our, with our right arm, okay, and put our right shoulder on the floor, and the left arm is going to point the ceiling, right, and this twist, we should feel a nice stretch in the lower back, and the bit on the chest, All right, back to all fours, let's switch arms. Now the last one is going under the right armpit, okay? And the right one is facing the ceiling now. And look up to the ceiling. Feel a stretch in the back and the chest underwear. Nice. All right, let's return back. Let's cross the leg and assume the comfortable position. All right, thumbs up. And then rotate them outside so you can, and, and move your arms all the way back so you can feel the stretch in your chest. All right, now clasp your wrists behind your back, stretch a little bit more. Okay, great. All right, let's stretch the shoulder. Okay, your one arm is straight in front of you. And with the other one, you're helping to kind of move it a bit down and across your body. So you feel a nice stretch in your back that comes into your shoulder. And let's switch. Okay, the other arm is straight. And you are helping, assisting with the other one and trying to feel a stretch in your shoulder, in your upper back. All right, good. For the tries, bend your elbow and assist with the other arm and try to move it behind yourself so you can feel a nice stretch in your tricep. Okay, let's switch. Great, okay, don't forget about your wrists. Okay, your wrists. Nice. 
And then the other one. Okay, bend your elbows, make fists, put them together, okay? Now keep them connected and straighten your elbows. You're gonna feel a nice, good stretch in all of your external muscles and your forearms, okay? All right, okay. Some circles, relax your wrists, they're handling weights and your body and everything today. Okay, that is it for today. Thanks for coming. I'm going to stop.